I'm Becca and welcome to my art studio. Today I am going to show you how to create this beautiful split composition Dutch pour painting. I love the way this one turned out and I call her Elegant at Midnight. Don't you think that's a good name for this painting? I started with a double split base in the black area and the white area and then I poured my colors out and blew it out with a hair dryer. If you're new to this process, it's called a bunch of different things. It can be called a Dutch pour, it can be called a blowout, it could be called the hair dryer method. There are a lot of different things it could be called. From what I understand, the term Dutch pour was coined by Rinse Gadana, who popularized this method of fluid art painting. And I think she's a fantastic artist and I like to pay homage to her by calling it what she named it, the Dutch board. I really enjoy teaching on YouTube. I have learned how to do this type of painting by watching videos on YouTube. And I'm super grateful for all of the people who've created videos and explained what they are doing so that I can learn and practice this beautiful type of art. So my intention in this channel is to help you along on your journey to explain exactly how I go about making these different pieces and the colors that I chose, why I chose them, how I layer them, etc. Okay, let's get started. When working on a split composition, I like to use chalk to mark out the different areas of color blocking on the canvas before I start to pour the paints. I also prefer to use my blow dryer to move the base paints around. I find that it gives me the most even base coat I, rather than using a spatula or tipping the canvas, I really like to use the blow dryer. The other reason I like to use it is it just is simply more practice. The more comfortable I get using my blow dryer to move paints around, the more comfortable and confident I am when using it to add the color and the elements to my painting. That said, I do find that when I'm working in very small places, the blow dryer tends to push the paint too far and I find that using a palette knife or my fingers is the best way to get the paint to fill in small crevices. The first color that I'm laying down is the permanent blue violet. I really like the way that the blues and the purples mix with the white when they flow together, especially the dark colors because it creates so many different shades and variations of the same color. I find that when it flows together with the white, it's very pleasing to the eye. So I have that color going down first and I'm laying it down in a zigzag pat pattern as opposed to one color laid over the other because I want all of the colors to kind of stand out and speak for themselves and not get covered over by the colors that are on top, if that makes sense. The next color that I'm laying down is Pewter by Amsterdam. And this is a metallic color, but it is mixed with Olga's Group 2 recipe. And so it will help to create metallic flow as opposed to cells. The next two colors that I'll lay down are the Pyroli Red and the Azo Yellow Lemon. These two colors, when mixed together in the blowout, will create some really beautiful sunset looking orangey yellow red vibes, especially when it mixes together with the gold that is also my cell maker. You may be hearing me talk about group one and group two and recipes and this and that, those are terms that are all referring to Olga Sobe's pouring medium and layering method. If you are interested in learning about this and following along with my videos, check out the link in the description that will take you to her course where you can read all about it. There's also a promo code for you to get 10% off and that promo code is Becca.
on the very top, I am strategically sprinkling some of my Group 1 Liquitex Gold Cell Maker. This color combined with the red and the yellow makes some beautiful sunset colors, and I can't wait for you to see all the beautiful cells that pop up. Let's get some music going here and enjoy the process. And after a few days of drying, here is the finished result. I think there is so much depth and interest and elegance to this painting. I'm very pleased with the results. If you're interested in buying it, you can check it out on my website, which is beccaharkins.com. Also, make sure to check out the description of this video for links to some of my favorite Dutch pour tools.